What's going on, everyone? Happy Saturday night. So I'm kind of going through some charts, uh, just doing some research here. Um, before I get into this video, if you guys would like to join my Discord, it's completely free. That link is down in the description box below. I also do have a website, evolutiontraders.com, that you can go ahead and check out. But what I want to go ahead and get looking at here is we know that the small cap stocks have been taking a beating all of 2021. As we're in 2022 now, uh, kind of seeing a little bit of a rocky start for the NASDAQ 100 stocks. A lot of the mega cap big tech stocks have you know, pulled back pretty significantly. We do have the triple Qs trading underneath the 50 period moving average, kind of tested that 100. So here's an idea for some of you swing traders or some of you people looking to, you know, maybe trade some stocks but they're not going to be you know the high flyers they're not going to be the most exciting movers they don't you know move that much but if we get some sort of rotation okay if we get some sort of rotation outside of growth outside of these uh speculation place and that rotation turns to value what is looking good is the Dow and in Industrial Jones um, stocks here. So if we kind of, I'm just going to briefly go over these stocks and kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. The Dow Jones was the first index that pulled in first, and then it, you know, the SPY S and P 500 was the second one to pull in. Although it is 500 companies, um, and it does have a lot of the big tech tech stocks in there, so it is taking uh you know pulling back in a little bit and then now it seems like the triple q's are starting to pull in with some of those tech stocks and obviously we already know the iwm and the small caps have been aggressively pulling in pretty much you know on and off all of 2021 but if we just kind of zoom in here the dow jones really in november kind of had this nasty pullback they were the first ones to lose a 50-day moving average come all the way down lose this lower channel here kind of bottom out on the dow at around 199 and then slowly have been making their way back up recently uh, on friday just reclaimed the 50-day moving average we did get stuffed into supply at the 100, but you can see here the top of this range on the Dow, 217.32 is gonna have room if confirms back up to 220. And any close over this 200 day moving average on the Dow could really start to lift up some of these value plays. Now, I know these aren't gonna be the most exciting stocks. These are probably stocks that, you know, your grandparents uh, invest in, but, you know, we have to trade the market that the market is giving us. I'm not saying rush in and start day trading all of these stocks in the Dow Jones, but, you know, put some of them on your watches, kind of keep look uh, if you are trying to play some things to the long side. And this can continue to get above this channel and above this 200 day moving average at around 221. Um, first stock that we're looking at here that I, that I was kind of showing you kind of reclaiming this 200 is going to be Honeywell. So if we look at Honeywell here, 217.32, and then we have 221, anything over that can start making uh, you know, that push higher to that 230. If we take a look at Boeing, okay, same thing with Boeing. We kind of double bottomed here, got back into this channel. And look, look, look at Boeing here. Boeing is, you know, just stepping stones away from confirming 218, 219. And getting into this 200 moving average here over 220 is really going to have some room to run the 225 and 233. Um, if we look at Travelers, Travelers just broke out big, massive push up $3.91, 166. I would like to see this kind of pull back into this channel, see if it holds some support. We've got Johnson & Johnson also here uh, just kind of confirm this channel from the 16th of December. We are at the upper channel here. So what I would like to see on Johnson & Johnson is I would like to see a break over and then kind of come back down, back test that, see if we can hold that as support. And then if we can and make that bounce, possibly we start retesting 179 in the first quarter. Uh, Caterpillar has just had an insane move. You can see this whole channel here, this 20881 channel here going all the way back to realistically the end of November, all the way to the end of December. Uh, we got this big monster rally candle here, and it's just been one, two, three, four days higher here. I think uh, Caterpillar over this 225, 226 looks really good. We look at Amgen also basing out here, anything over 230.90. If we look at 3M, same kind of deal here, kind of basing out. We need to get 3M over 182. It's going to have initial room to 183 and 184. We look at JP Morgan kind of making this little uh, bull flag here over 168, 169 looks really, really good. Uh, 
American Express over 176.50. We have MRK big breakout here. We're looking for confirmation over 80.53 is filling the gap here. Does have room all the way back up to 84. We look at Walgreens, big massive push ever since coming off this low here, $43.62, currently trading at 53.84. Nice pullback into the five and 10 day moving average. Nice confirmation of that reclaim bouncing back up. We want to see this get back over highs, 54.80. Walmart here also uh, in a bit of a channel here. So we still kind of, let me change this line. We still kind of want to see Walmart get over this one, 46.50. Look at Verizon, not going to be a fast mover, but you know, kind of a longer term play here. Came off this bottom channel here, confirmed, had a nice pullback to the 50 to double test that. And now we got that big monster rally push higher, back tested that five day moving average. I think Verizon over 5460. Uh, stock like Disney, I think could perform really, really well. We still have this whole gap to fill here at 163.65, all the way into 168. I think if we can get back over this channel, start reclaiming this supply zone here, that price is going to be around 161. First initial push is going to be 163 and then 166. If we look at Goldman Sachs, uh, same kind of deal here. Reconfirmed that 50 day moving average, had three days where we kind of pulled back into this top channel here, got rejected underneath underneath the five day moving average. If Goldman can get over 401.20, does have room to push back up to 407. Take a look at Cisco here, same kind of deal coming off the bottom. Big monster rally here into the beginning of the year. Pulled all the way back to this top channel here. Now we are testing this, kind of validating this as support. Is this previous high here of around $60.25 going to act as support? Did act previously as resistance, came back, tagged it perfectly. Stepping stones away from reclaiming the five-day moving average. I think uh, Cisco looks good over $61.52. Take a look at Apple. We know Apple had that big, strong breakout. Briefly touched the trill, uh, touched tree three trillion dollar valuation here. Kind of cracked below this channel here. We are below the five, 10, and 20 day moving average, but we are kind of holding this 171.56. Any kind of downside on Apple under 171. Let's look for a pullback into this 167 or perhaps even the 50 day moving average at around 165. I think this is going to be a pretty good loading opportunity here going forward. Something like Microsoft. Also lost a 50 day moving average is part of the triple Q's as well. And that whole big tech sector, we did pull in underneath the 100 EMA and 100 SMA kind of just floating around here in no man's land. What I would like to see on Microsoft first is do we come into this 302, 303 area? I think if we come back in here to the 150 simple, um, I think this would be a perfect opportunity to start loading. If not, I'd like to see it reclaim the five day moving average. And then we can kind of look at some of the stocks that were pretty much flat or down on the day on Friday. We have Procter and Gamble coming back in to test the 10 day moving average. Uh, Coca-Cola, big breakout here after this gap up. 6120, we are back testing this channel here and the five day uh, moving average. IBM, same kind of deal here, coming off the bottom here ever since November, pretty much has just run straight up since December, finally getting this back test into the 10 day moving average. CRM, also big nasty sell off here. CRM actually looks a little bit more to the downside here. So we wanna keep a look uh, for a possible short position under 225.97. McDonald's, also big breakout, broke out of this channel here. Now we're barely coming down, back testing this channel. What I would like to see McDonald's do, maybe pull back into the 20 period moving average, 265, potentially uh, catch that on a bounce here. Um, Nike, same thing under a lot of selling pressure here. Nike, more of a short for me, 156.74 potentially a loading zone uh, to kind of buy on a dip here, on a further dip, 154, 155, UNH. Um, nasty gap down here. We do have earnings coming up. I would kind of stay clear of this. We did just lose a 50 period moving average. Let's look for a dip into 447 or even 443. And then we have Home Depot, same thing. Home Depot has been on a phenomenal run, big monster rally here starting in the beginning of November came all the way back down, tested the 50 day moving average, got this initial push higher. However, we did not take out uh, highs. I'm gonna put a trend line here. We're gonna kind of watch these highs for a further continued leg up breakout. Right now we are closed below the 50 period moving average. If we do confirm 393 to the downside, we will have room to the next area of 
380. Let's look to see if this is going to act as support. If it does not act as support, I would wait on Home Depot and let's see if we can catch it down here at this bottom uh, channel. Previous resistance here at around 375. I think 375 is going to act as a solid, solid support for Home Depot. Definitely for a long term position, a longer term swing trade if we can catch it. And I'm actually going to put a trend line here just to kind of let it do its thing. So, what I want to do is I want right now the range on Home Depot 375, 420. I'd like to see this pull back into 375. This for me is a loading zone here at 375 on Home Depot. Guys, I hope that helps you out, give you some ideas heading into this first quarter of 2022. Leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel, uh, hit that thumbs up button, and also join that Discord that's uh, down in the description box below, and I will see you guys all in the next video.